Hey there guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can open up a drop down terminal emulator in macOS with iTerm2. iTerm2 is just another terminal emulator for macOS. I'm not going to go into depth about it. If you want to install it, you can download it from the Brew repositories or you can download it as its own separate package. So as we open iTerm2, you can see it just looks like a regular terminal. So we're going to go over here into preferences. And in preferences we're going to go to profiles and in profiles we're going to go to window we're going to go to style and full width top of screen now once we do that we're going to go uh, this is just you know quality of life stuff uh, we're going to exclude it from the dock and app switcher this is so that it doesn't show up when you have it running as you can see it's not at the dock anymore um and when we close out iTerm2 and we open it again, you can see that it shows up on the top of our screen. One last thing we're going to do is that we're going to go to keys, we're going to go to hotkey, we're going to create a dedicated hotkey, which allows us to hide it on a, or hide it and open it with a keyboard shortcut. So. When I press Win Space, it's different on a Mac OS keyboard. It hides and opens and hides and opens. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Um, <laughs> if you ever want to undo this, some people might not catch this. There is a little button right here on the top that lets you navigate through your preferences and close it and whatnot. Uh, but with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please check the description for the source, as obviously I didn't come up with this on my own. <laughs> Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I love you.